Welp, I am back playing Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. And in this episode... Good kitty. We're gonna go down, get breakfast. Rising sixth grader has risen. Huh? First day of school, are you still... In the strangest dream about dad? Don't worry, dad's fine. He's waiting in the dining room. What? Maybe I, I'll just skip breakfast today, but your dad wanted to eat with you this morning. Uh, maybe another morning. But don't forget your lunch so you don't starve today. Okay. And stop thinking about that thing. I wish I could just run away. Uh, who could I eat lunch? Who could eat lunch at a time like this? DJ, you can leave it. If you can leave if you're gonna be such a chicken. Uh. Hey, you did that. Run. Wonder if that kid has any more of these. Okay, everyone, start heading back to class. Dismissed. I mean, you had to used to go to the roller rink the first day. At least you go. I never know. I believe we actually did work on the first day of school. Huh, we did work today? Ever heard the janitor taking, talking to his mop this afternoon? Must be possessed by a really tidy ghost. See what happened in science? We tried to make a book and it exploded all over the teacher. It really made us erupt with laughter. Great. Hey, you're the firecracker kid. The name's Jeff, but that has a nice ring it to it, too. Do you have any more I could borrow? First off, kid, you can't just borrow a firecracker. They can't have a one use only, okay? Then can you give me one? Uh, do you have any idea what these things cost? Tell you what, I'm usually at the library after school. Bring me something I could... I couldn't get anywhere else, and so maybe we can trade. Well... How about you read a book on how not to be a loser, huh? Come on, guys, let's stop wasting let's stop wasting time on this nerd. Oh, this is them. Dylan's just jealous because you know how to read. Thank you. The bullies picked on me for reading at my old school too. Well, then they must be pretty stupid. All right, a ton of sci-fi. What are you reading? Ancient Greek mythology. Uh, I've been meaning to get around to that one. It's not much different from science fiction, really. It's all about being brave during impossible situations. Hmm. Well, if you ever want to read something with pictures in it, I'd be happy to lend you a comic. Oh, if you like art, maybe you'll actually have a use for this thing. I was helping my grandpa clear out some junk yesterday and found his old sketchbook. There's some neat drawings in there. Um. What? Question mark, question mark, question mark. No way. He used to be some kind of technician. They're just doodles and notes from his old job. He didn't want to talk about it, though. I was supposed to throw it away, but I didn't want to waste the paper, you know. I'm G Gabriel, by the way. I'm Oswald. This is an interesting sketchbook. Thanks. Oswald's house a day, too. Oh, well, I'm home. Uh...
Tie Pit Trap. Uh, night two. If you keep losing, try not to get caught. Alright, time to get back to Jeff's. I have a plan now. I gotta get out of here first. Well, that was easy. Oh, hi, back again. Yeah, back to the ball pit. You know how it is. It's taking forever to get my pizza. I swear, the longer they, the more I hear. Like, what if the kitchen has rats? Even worse, what if the cooks are rats? Don't tell me to calm down. You know I have musophobia. Seems distracted and paranoid. Alright, into the pit. The voice that I heard before, I wonder where it came from. Oh, perfect. The lights are out. Gotta figure out how to get them back on. Yeah, I thought so. Again! What the fuck was that for? A hiding spot. <clears throat> Never mind. Someone's in there, but the door won't budge. That's great. <clears throat> I gotta get to security, then. Power's gone out. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, I'm not able to do anything right now. Lunch bag. You even have a stomach. Definitely a kid in that kitchen. So Extra slices of pizzas that you could give me. Sorry, kid. I think things where you want something, you gotta buy it. Okay. I do now. I can't afford to buy anything. I just borrow a slice from the kitchen. Be a battery underneath the trap, a rat trap. Huh. Wait. Huh? Right, item. What? Oh my god. Huh. Trash in the gang is here. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, a rat. Uh-oh. 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 You're mine. The fuck? Okay. Fuck you. Through the kitchen. It's a uh... nice. <laughs> I got some fucking what? What?
All right. What? New music unlock. Pizza roller. Okay. Oh, is there? Oh, God. What? What is this? What? Oh. Fucking hell. Have them with helpers. Help, help you. Shut up. All of these... Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Puzzle matrix. All of these are cabinets I can play in some way, but I need to find stuff. Oh, okay, I see. Damn. Nice. Well, now I gotta fucking go back. Fuck. Oh, fucking hell! F. A. S. A D. What? Photo of Oswald? Hello? Hello? Hey, I know you are doing great. There's no kid in here. Oh, oh, oh. Aren't you coming? No, I'm looking for my dad. No. You seen Chip? All right. All right. It's this door. Into the ball pit. Holy fuck, he's fast. Haven't I looked? Go home. Oswald's house, day three. Tip, you can pet jinx the cat by pressing E. I barely slept, why can't I? What does it want now? Hi, Jinx. That's a good cat. 
You're a good kitty. Alright, well, I am going to leave it there for this episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Things are only getting more intense. Intense. There are multiple animatronics chasing me now. Yes, that's a good kitty. Well, with that being said, if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe. You know what to do. And I'll see ya.